Believe it or not, I'm about to be trusted with paint. We are painting the muscles on a horse here at uh, the Kentville campus. Joining me now is uh, Katrina Murkey's BBRM coordinator. What does BBRM stand for? It stands for Bachelor of Bioresource Management, and it's a four-year undergraduate degree with a major in equine management. Okay, and we have absolutely interrupted the middle of your class. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being so patient with us today. What will the students learn in the course? Uh, today we're painting the muscles on the horse, so they're going to learn exactly where all the muscles are. And uh, when we take the horse out for a walk, they'll be able to see how the muscles move and affect the movement of the horse. Okay, and uh, I, we were talking about this before, about how the, the paints are, of course, non-toxic. Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, so what muscle will I be painting on? So you're painting this pink muscle here that we've outlined for you, and this is the deltoid muscle. All right, I'll spread and the paint nice and <laughs> evenly here. So now when the, the horse goes outside, you'll actually see the different colors moving? Yes, so then you can see how the movement, how the muscles affect the movement of the horse and what muscles are involved with walking or trotting or cantering. Right, so this is kind of a nice alternative to just your typical diagram where you're pointing out the different muscles and, and everything is very flat and, and you know, you're not involved. Absolutely, I think the students learn very well where the muscles are and what they do, what much this? better than on a picture. This paint takes up so much of there is fur takes up so much of the paint. How long have you guys been at this? It must have been hours. Well, they've done this a couple times now, so I think they're getting pretty good at painting the muscles. Okay, there, there we go. What do you think? Lovely. Well done. Good job? Excellent. Good job. Okay. An a. So oh an A even. Okay, so I'll switch you. I'll take the microphone and trade you the paint. How much horse do you have left to paint? Uh, well, they've done the other side already, and they're almost done this side. Okay, now that I've mastered painting, I'm going to head over here and uh, attempt some bandaging. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can uh, deal with this relatively well. Joining me now, Sarah Mayo, Equine Diploma Coordinator. What are, you, what are we about to do? We're about to put a stable bandage, actually you're about to help put a stable bandage on the front leg of this horse. Stable bandaging is a skill that every horse uh, a care person has to know. Mm -hmm. It's used for many different reasons, for, from keeping a horse clean, to keeping his legs warm, to dressing a wound, to taking care of injuries. Okay. So it's a very standard operation. And Lindsay's going to guide you in applying the stable bandage. Okay, so around the, and I'm not going to be kicked in the okay, face take, here. No, but take your knee off the ground. Okay. You have to, you have to crouch. <laughs> it's hard Why is it knees. important to crouch? So you can get out of the way quickly and move quickly if you okay. need to. It's a safety feature. Okay. So should I actually be standing where I am, or should I probably no, be where you no, are? You're, you're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. So just bring it up. Okay. So bring it back up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not getting an A in this one. <laughs> so and it's a skill that looks very easy, and it's actually quite quite technical to do. So this is what we go through with our students all For the time. For sure. Okay. I'm going to let you resume bandaging. So apart from uh, from the bandaging, you know, she needs to redo the entire leg. Oh no. So apart from the bandaging and uh, the muscle structure that we were looking at um, earlier, what are some of the other things that the students will learn in the program? They will learn um, basically a full um, full facet of horse care, mm -hmm. from feeding to uh, facility management. Uh, some of them involve riding in their in their time here as well. Okay. Um, they do anatomy, physiology, conformation, how a horse is put together, mm -hmm. and then they actually do hands-on um, activities in the barn on a weekly basis. And what types of jobs can you get from, from completing this program? Uh, many of them will go on to run their own businesses out of the diploma program because mm -hmm. it incorporates some business um, courses as well. And some of them will work as um, technicians and grooms mm -hmm. for other people with uh, competition barns. Some of them will go into retail, oh. any aspect of, of equine retail. Oh, so oh. Quite, quite a collection of career <laughs> opportunities out there. Great. Well, thank you so much for being so patient with me. And again, I'm sorry to disturb your class. You can head to the University of Guelph website for all of the information. But stay with us. We've got more to come from Kempville later on CTV Morning Live.